Shahriyar story. To support us, like this video and subscribe our channel and turn on the notification. This is a real story. We changed the name of the people. When I was 18 years old and had just gone to university, I'm the only daughter in the family. My mom is a housewife. My mom and dad got married at a young age and my mom played an important role in my dad's success. My father sometimes traveled distant cities because of his job as an oil engineer. When I went to university, my parents had no problem coming home late. And I didn't come home until nightfall. I was out with my friends. My mother has been friends with Abigail since she was a teenager. We went to visit Abigail once a week. She was married later than my mother and had a three years old son. She and her husband helped us when my father was traveling. Everything was fine until one day I had to go to university until 7 p.m. But I got sick and had to go home at 3 p.m. When I got home, I was scared because I didn't expect my mother to be home. I heard my mother's voice with a gentleman. He wasn't my father. I was scared. I went to my mother's room. Unfortunately, I saw my mother in an awkward situation with Abigail's husband. They were very shocked to see me. I came out of the house. After that my mother called me several times and said come home I will explain everything to you. I went home and argued with my mother. She said she had done it once. Your father wasn't home, and it was hard for me. That night, I packed my things and left the house and was in my car. My mother called me several times, but I didn't answer the phone. I sent her a message and wrote that I didn't expect such a thing from you. I don't have a boyfriend yet. You betrayed my father. My father works in the cold and heat for you and me to be comfortable. Then you betrayed him with your best friend's husband. She said, he told me loves me. I cruise my mother. The next day, I went to my grandmother's house. For a few days, my father returned home and my mother told him Sarah had gone to her grandmother's house but did not say why. My father came and said, let's go back home. I didn't tell him why I left home. And I didn't want to see my mother again. I just told my father I wanted to live independently. I asked the university to go to the dormitory, but the university refused. At that moment, I remembered one of my classmates named Amanda. She had a rich father and rented a house. I said I would pay some rent and live with you. One day I went home 
and saw my mother and Abigail talking. I grinned at my mother and went to my room. My mother came and said, Do not tell Abigail about that day, because she doesn't know about that. I said, Be ashamed. I told my father that I would live with Amanda, whether you let me or not. Then he let me. After that, I looked for a job and was able to work for an airline. I became independent. Amanda's house had two bedrooms. And every night there was a party and her boyfriend came and they drank and took drugs but I didn't party with them and I was in my room time passed until one night Amanda invited some of her friends and I sat next to them for a few minutes I went to my room because I didn't like drinking. After a few minutes, I realized from their voices that they were drunk. Amanda came to my room several times and said, come and have fun with us. But I said I was tired. An hour later, one of the boys who was drunk entered my room I told him why you entered without permission he tried to approach me but I didn't allow him he wanted to touch me but I would not let him and kicked him out of my room the next day I told Amanda that I am not safe here. Don't invite anyone else. Otherwise, I will leave this house. She said, I always have guests. You can leave the house. So I left the house. And sometimes I slept in my car. And sometimes I went to my grandmother's house but I didn't return to my house until one day my father asked me a lot to go home and I couldn't refuse and went back home this story for a few years ago and my mother told me many times that she made a mistake and has not down it again but I don't believe it because Abigail and her husband are still coming to our house and I feel sorry for my father and Abigail thanks for subscribing your channel and liking this video please share us your life story and send it to this email address Goodbye, see you soon.